Yo, what's going on, good people? It is Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is the first day for the breakfast for dreamers. Man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like I said earlier, this is a conversation for my heavy hitters and my go-getters, right? Uh, we're about to go to another level today, right? For the next three days, I'm going to come to you live every um, every day, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 8.30, um, 830 a.m. Central. And we might go about 5 to 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. It all just depends, right? Um, I'm using this new software called StreamYard. I've used it before, but hopefully it works out really well. I can't really see who's all who all is coming on, but um, yo, we just we still gonna have this conversation though, right? So today we're talking about the promise, right? So what's the promise? This is something that I talked to my clients one on one about in our first session, right? So my first question is, uh, what is your dream? What is your dream? What is your goal, right? Like, what are you trying to accomplish in this life, right? And also, once you figure that out, what is the promise that you can make to yourself to hold you accountable to that dream? So when I was younger, right, if you've been following me thus far, then you know my story. When I was younger, um, I had a really bad speech impediment, and I was an overweight kid. And as a result, um, I would get bullied. And as a result of my bullying, I would use violence, so I stayed in trouble all the time. Um, and there, there came a point where I started getting in trouble a lot. And so my mom had to come down to the school and pick me up from the school because I had got suspended again. And so on the way home, I looked at her in her eyes and I saw the pain that she was going through, you know, while she was going in on me, while she was um, yelling at me. And so right then and there, I made a promise to myself that I was going to be one less thing that my mom had to worry about. And so that promise that I made to myself helped me stay focused on my dreams and on my goals. Like just like any other kid, like my dream was to make it to the NFL, right? Like I love the game of football. And the reason why I love the football um, game of football was because of one statement that my uncle told me. He said football was the only game that you can darn near kill someone and not go to jail for it. And like I told you earlier, because I was getting bullied, like that sounded like music to my ears. <laughs> I was just gonna take all, all, my, all my anger out on the game of football. But because I made that promise to myself to be one less thing that my mom had to worry about, it helped me stay focused on my dream of making it to the NFL. Now granted, I didn't make it to the NFL, but I learned the mindset of an athlete, right? I, I was blessed enough to play the game of football on a college level, which changed my mind tremendously. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see you coming in. Like I said, today we're talking about the dream, the promise, right? So what promise can you make to yourself to help you stay focused on your dream, right? And like I just told you, like my promise was to be one less thing that my mom had to worry about. My dream was to make it to the NFL. And like I said, granted, I didn't make it to the NFL, but I was blessed enough to make it to the college um, leagues. So real quick, like, I want you to like tell me your dreams, right? Like, tell me your goals. What's up, Chantelle? How you doing? Like, tell me your dreams. Tell me your goals. Like, what, what are you looking for to get out of this life, man? Like, don't. Don't give me like no excuses or anything like that. Like, let me know like what your real goals and dreams are, right? So, like my goal right now is like I, I listen to Eric Thomas a lot. So, and I and I'm a motivational speaker. So I told myself like I want my goal to be the number one motivational speaker in the world, right? But now I'm changing that, right? So now my goal is to my dream is to become the number one servant leader who uses his gift to serve God's people, right? So that is my dream, right? And so the promise I have made to myself right now is to always stay in a constant state of self-development, right? Because that's the only way I feel like I can do the work that I do. If I'm not constantly developing myself, how can I tell someone else to constantly develop themselves, right? So my promise to myself is to always stay in a constant state 
a self development, right? And so, yeah. So, like I said, this is something that I do with my clients one on one, and so I really just want to bring it to you guys for three days straight, and so we can just have this courageous, forward moving conversation, right? I know even like with with these times, you know, some people might think that life has been put on hold. But man, I came to the thought the other day, you know, the saying like time is money and money is time. Right now, we ain't got nothing but time. So does that mean like we're all rich? Like, does it? You know, there's just there's just some stuff that I think about. But um, I wasn't sure if I was going to share this story with y'all, but I will share it. Um, so. At the end of last year, like the company, I don't, most of you might know, you might not know about working corporate America as well. At the end of last year, like my company started laying off a whole bunch of people, like just letting them go. And so I was blessed enough, like not to be one of those people that got let go. But I also wasn't happy in um, my current role that I was in as well. And then next thing you know, the coronavirus hit, right? And so what's up, Jay? Um, let's say, you know, the coronavirus hit. And so, uh, everybody started getting laid off. And as you know, if you've been following me, I've been having a positive attitude through this whole thing. Right. Um, I never once doubted God. I never once doubted like anything that like was going to, that anything that was for me was in jeopardy. Like I always kept my faith in God. Like that's my foundation. And so, um, even when my company was laying off people, right, I started to go and talk to other managers about uh, opportunities for me to, like, be on their team. And so um, I was just planting them seeds. Like, every manager that I talked to was like, we don't have any openings and things like that. And so I was like, okay, cool, that's fine. And so when the coronavirus hit, you know, I kind of put that stuff on hold. And so then all of a sudden I get – a message that says, hey, go apply for this job. And like, it was um, one of the positions that I had been looking for. So I applied for it um, about two weeks ago on a Friday. Um, I um, got an interview and we did it virtually um, through WebEx. Um, it's it's kind of like Zoom, but we did it virtually. And so I was just thankful to have that opportunity. And then um, the following week, which was last week, I, I was just praying to God, like, hey, that I just hear something back, like, no matter what it was. But and then um, on Friday, I was actually on the call with my friends, right? And one of my homeboys was telling us about his blessing. You know, we, we like, hyping him up, you know, being thankful for him, you know, asking him how he feels and stuff. Then I get a phone call in the middle of our, in the middle of our conversation, and it was um, the manager for the position that I had interviewed for. And she was like, well, we want to offer you the position. And I was like, man, wow, thank God. Like, that's a promotion in the, midst of pan- uh, uh, in the midst of a pandemic. A promotion in the midst of a pandemic. Like, that's a that's a big blessing, right? Like, this is stuff like you can't ask for. Like, I mean, you can't, it's unfathomable, right? Like, it's like beyond imagination. And it all goes to God. And like, just it just shows the power of keeping that positive mindset of, you know, like, no matter what this world is going through, no matter what I might be going through personally, like my God still can get me through this, right? And, you know, I call him God. You might call him something else. I'm not here to throw my beliefs on you. But like I said, I call him God. And so it's just all about having that strength and that foundation, that spiritual foundation to be able to carry you through. And like when, um, that's right, Jeremy, fast, bro. Um, when, when I got the job, bro, like I, I just really felt like blessed. You know what I mean? I'm like God is gonna look out for me regardless. And like that's the type of mindset that you gotta have. And like that's the type of mindset that I try to teach our teach my clients. And so I also wanna pay it forward. I'm still working out on the details of how I'm gonna do that, but it is gonna involve um my coaching business, my one-on-one coaching. And so when I when I work that out, like I promise you I will be back to you. I promise I will, um, like, and I hope, I plan to have it um, planned out for tomorrow, but this is the first day of our conversation, man. Like, I really appreciate y'all for tuning in. That's right, Brittany. Promotion in the midst of a pandemic, and, like, it's crazy. And, like, I don't want you to think that, like, I'm not connected 
to like what's going on or what's going on in the struggle or whatnot because I'm really because I am like I see the things that people are going through. I see the help that they need. I also see the other people out here that's grinding to like the front workers, the people who are um, the food banks who are offering people food. And like, man, that, that stuff is, is amazing stuff and it's a struggle as well. But what I'm telling you is to also still have that positive mindset, like still have that dreamer mindset that when, um, cause life will continue after this, no matter what, like life is going to continue to go on. And so it's like, what are you going to do with your time that you have right now? Like I've seen, I've seen something that kind of like turned me off a little bit and it's talked about um, toxic positivity. I never heard of such in my life. Like what the heck is toxic positivity? And so if this is toxic positivity, like that's like going to continue to get you blessed, continue to have, allow you to have a positive mindset, continue to allow you to like follow your dreams and give you that hope and inspiration that you need, then so be it. Hey, well, let's be toxic. Let's be radical with it. And so, um, yo, what's up, Ashley? God is amazing for sure, for sure. But this is only our first day together. Like I said, we got two more days. I thank you all for tuning in. Like I see y'all and my like, man, like try to make this a blessed day. Like try to change your life. If you're out there thinking negative, like about anything about this situation, like granted you're going to go through something. Like I've been going through some stuff myself, but you always got to have that faith in God and like know, know who gives you your strength, right? Know who gives you your strength. And so, <laughs> this has been an amazing conversation, y'all. Like, um, we we are here. Like I said, we got two more days, so I hope you stay tuned. Feel free to share. And like, once I figure out what exactly like this gift that I'm going to give y'all looks like, um, hopefully it's going to be tomorrow. Um, then I'm gonna share it, and I hope y'all share it with other people too. Like, it's going to be a great opportunity for like just people to connect, people to connect with me. Um, and it's going to be some positive uplifting conversation because that's what I'm here to do. Um, but yeah, I want to be here tomorrow, same time, same channel, 8 30 central, um, 8 30 a.m. central. And we're going to have another great conversation. But man, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. And remember, I love you. Peace.